Hello there and welcome to the new video and the topic that I'm going to show you in this video is from my new book which is Ultimate Guide of Finding Missing Values and Non-Missing Values in Python. This book has 25 different scenarios which is very common to day-to-day -to -work, day -day work requirements of finding missing values and as you can see the list starts from 1 and goes till 21 so why I'm saying 25 is because some of these have their subtopics like 4, 4.1, 6, 6.1. So overall, these are 25 different scenarios of a common day-to-day -day requirement of finding missing values. You can pause the video and review the topics that you can find in this book. And the respective code and everything you will find in this Jupyter Notebook. So book is nothing but this entire Jupyter Notebook where you have the title and the respective code for each solution and the link to get this book is present in the description all right so let me show you the tip number 11 count of columns that are not having missing values so if in your data set you have 10 columns and only two columns is having the missing values then you want to get the count of the rest of the columns that means the eight columns and that's what it will give count of columns that are not having missing values so how we can do that so for this i have already imported the pandas i have imported the sales file and let me create oops sorry let me just press escape and create a cell above and here we will say sales dot not null dot any dot sum all right and will execute this so what we got over here is the 21 count that means there are 21 columns which are not having any null values so that way whenever you have a requirement because many times you have to see how many columns are having null values so that's one way of getting it and alternatively you may need to know sometimes how many columns are not having any null values and this quick script can really help you get this information let's say you want to show it in your report or a dashboard or if you have for your own data management you want to keep this information you can get it so that's very quickly i wanted to show you this tip number 11 oops i have missed it i may need to again type that but that basically shows the total number of columns that are not having missing values so i hope you have found it useful so like this you have 25 different or I would say 24 now we already know this so you have 24 different uh, snippets or the codes that are over here for finding the missing values so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video